So we're here at the Iowa City World Cup, and I'm with Caitlin Keough, last year's winner mm -hmm. at this race. And we have your bike, which we're going to go into and learn all about. What do, you have to, what do you think about this bike? So this is my Cannondale Super X. This is my 10th year riding with Cannondale, and this is by far my favorite color scheme and paint job, and I'm really excited to take these bikes over to Europe in a couple weeks. Right, because you're gonna be basing yourself there for the entire season, and American living and racing in Belgium, it is something that's pretty unique. Not a lot of riders are doing that mm -hmm. these days, so you're excited? Yes, I'm very excited for the venture, and it will be a good season, I think. Yeah, yeah. well, we're excited for you. Can't wait to dig into this bike. Good luck today, and good luck for your season. Thank you very much, Jeremy. All right. Super X it is. This is the Cannondale CycloCrossWorld.com team bike, and it is absolutely pristine. As the Cannondale CycloCrossWorld.com team has become known for, the bike is immaculate. It's custom paint job with the white and the green matches their kit, and I have to say, it looks pretty good. This bike, Cannondale calls the boss of cross, but it has doubled up as a gravel bike and an adventure bike for many of the riders on their roster. So this bike's duped out with SRAM top to bottom. This is their all new wireless SRAM Red AXS Grupo. It's got a single chain ring up front, size 38. She's running a SRAM Red crank set. It's size 170, and she's opted for a 1033 rear cassette. It's gonna give her a lot of range and a wide variety of conditions that she'll see out on the cyclocross course. It's also got SRAM's red AXS rear derailleur, which has a built-in fluid clutch to be able to take up any of those bumps that the riders are gonna see when they're riding off-road in conditions like cyclocross. Caitlin's running the Crank Brothers Egg Beater 11 pedals. These pedals are unique because they have no cage on them, which makes the mud clearing very unique and different from other pedals. It also has four sides to be able to engage the pedal in. So when you're getting on and off your bike in a cyclocross race, it's very beneficial. They're also hyper light. As a pair, they're only 175 grams. This Super X uses a seat post diameter of 25.4, which is unique. This bike, they say, has more flexion because of the smaller seat post. They're able to get more movement from the carbon fiber. Millimeters of flexion allow for a more comfortable ride. They're using Zips Service Course SL seat post, and they have a Fabric Ultimate Scoop seat on here with carbon fiber rails and a carbon fiber shell. Up front, the cockpit is all zip. They're using Zips Service Course SL Stem, Zips Ergo SL70 bar, which is a short reach bar with a nice swoop, which would be good for cyclocross, so you've got that short stem and good handling. They've wrapped it with Zips Service Course bar tape. The Cannondale team uses Zips 303 carbon tubular wheels, which have famously been ridden to world championship victories with Wout Van Aert over the past three seasons. They have Vittoria Torino Mix 33 tires on here. These tires use graphene technology, and this is Vittoria's middle tire. They have a slick tire, a mixed tire, which is this middle one, and then a wet tire for the muddy conditions. The brakes on this machine are SRAM red. They're using six bolt calipers and 140 rotors. The bike is also completely internally housed, making it look super clean. Okay, it is time to weigh this Cannondale Super X. Let's see what we come in at. 16 pounds on the dot. Okay, I don't normally do this, because I think it's weird, but I have to say this free hub sounded immaculate. Let's see how it sounds. Pretty good. So that is Caitlin Keogh's Cannondale CycloCrossWorld.com Team Edition Super X. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think down in the comments. If you wanna see other pro bikes, check out over here. And if you wanna to subscribe to GCN, check out right there.